Hi, I'm Dr. Sheldon Horowitz here at the National Center for Learning Disabilities. Welcome to the next in our Ask the Expert series. Today, I would like to talk about visual processing. Visual processing is in and of itself not a subtype of learning disabilities, but something that we all do. It's the way that we take information in from our environment and is very problematic for many students with learning disabilities. Let me just provide a little bit of an overview of what we mean by visual processing. First and foremost, we receive information through our eyes, through our visual sense. That information is then processed. We think about it and we organize it and we understand it in some way. To be able to do something with it and remember it, we have to associate it with some information that we have already learned or some new information that we're taking in. We recall that information, we retrieve it from our short and our long-term memory, and then we express it in some way. So the process of receiving and processing, associating, recalling, retrieving, and then expressing that information is what we mean when we talk about visual processing. Individuals with learning disabilities often struggle in this area. So for example, discrimination, visual discrimination falls within the umbrella, within the domain of visual processing difficulties. Very often, children will look at a letter and not be able to identify that letter as compared to another letter, or struggle to be able to tell same or different. And it's not just letters, it could be numbers, it could be shapes, it could be any number of things where they have difficulty discriminating one thing versus another. In terms of figure ground, meaning what's in front and what's in back, how things appear in space, individuals with learning disabilities often have difficulties finding details. So when you think about the Where's Waldo books, very, very difficult for many students with learning disabilities if they struggle in this visual processing area. And then being able to see things against the competing background. So that could be something very specific, or it could be looking at a page and picking something out from a page. It could be a piece of text, it could be a piece of a graph, it could be a number on a chart. These are the kinds of figure ground difficulties that many students with visual processing difficulties have. Sequencing, another area of difficulty for students with learning disabilities who struggle in the visual processing area. For example, the order of, of things how they appear. So for example, in a math equation, there may be numbers in a sequence. There may be the order of letters and words. Those kinds of sequences are often very difficult to discern and to remember and to recognize by students with learning disabilities who struggle in this visual processing area. In terms of motor processing or visual processing as it impacts motor functioning, very often individuals with learning disabilities have difficulties because of the lack of feedback that they need to coordinate body movements. So tossing a ball to them may be difficult for them to catch because they need to see that ball coming at them, they need to track the time with which it will take to get to them, how they move their body in response, what they need to do with their hands, and so that visual processing and mapping and judging activity is really difficult for them. And it need not be just in space, it could also be on a flat surface. So when they're copying, being able to coordinate some of those motor movements needed to be able to write and to draw also fall within that area of difficulty for students with learning disabilities. As mentioned before, to be able to receive, process, and associate, and recall, and express information, you need to do something with it when it comes in and you begin to understand it. So short and long-term memory are areas of weakness when information comes in visually for many students with learning disabilities. Um, a good example might be if you're using a keyboard or using a calculator. Imagine how difficult it is for a student who uses a keyboard if every time they use that keyboard or have to find numbers on a calculator, they have to go searching for them. Their memory, their visual memory for the information that they need to be able to use that device efficiently is not working well. Another thing in the visual processing domain has to do with spatial relations. Reading maps, finding their place, or judging how long something takes 
something judging time, for example, is an area of weakness for many students with learning disabilities. And visual closure, looking at something and saying, well, there's a missing part, identifying what that missing part is. Um, and even facial recognition is sometimes difficulty for students with learning disabilities who struggle in visual processing. For more information about visual processing and other characteristics of learning disabilities, please visit the LD.org site, www.ld.org. We would love to hear from you if you have comments or would like to ask questions. Please visit our website. Please write to us at ncld at ncld.org.